The Cow. What an incredible film this was. Welcome to my video. It's going to be a short film analysis and discussion. This is coming from the perspective of a small town Canadian, and I hope you enjoy the video. The Cow is a 1969 Persian film directed by Dariush Merjoui, and it's about a man's transformation. It's about our humanity, our empathy, what it means to be human, our identity and our loss of it. So many themes and allegories and philosophical meanings fill this film with every frame and all of the suggestions that it's making are fascinating to dissect. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's delve right into it, shall we? The Cow, 1969. Welcome to Mace at the Movie. The artistic aspirations and sensibilities are made clear in the opening frames of this film. Take a look at this, for instance, the way the cow and the man are melding together almost in this interesting form of photography, foretelling and foreshadowing what is to come. It's really interesting and right off the bat, we know we're getting into a artistic ride. Here's a brief rundown of the plot of this film. The film is about this man. His name is Hassan and he lives in a village and he's the only one with this cow and he's very very attached. He's very close to this cow. One day he goes, he leaves for a little bit, he leaves for a few hours and when he returns the cow has died. It's never made plain what happens to the cow specifically but the village is left to make the decision of what to do, how to explain this before Hassan arrives back at the village. When he does arrive they decide to lie to him and from that point it's about his slow descent into darkness and just the destruction of himself the performances in this film are absolutely incredible heartbreaking and sad the lead character man he does a fantastic job the cinematography just look at this shot right here there's plenty of examples throughout the film of the amazing cinematography that was put on display and it's really 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 good at creating that contrast and creating that environment which just lends more depth and weight to the entire narrative and let me talk about some of the things that I picked up and this is just coming from like I said small town Canadian the film definitely doesn't paint a picture of a really really rich country life you know it's quite stark and broken down there's never really much explanation to what's going on in the village. There's no fruit stands, there's no food stands. It's very barren and just sort of plain. And it's not really made clear of how these people live. Um, also speaks to the fact that the cow seems to be the only, you know, sense of collective, um, you know, economics in the village, like the only source of income, the only source of uh, sustenance. So when the cow dies, it's sort of, you know, it's not just a allegory for an over-reliance on one commodity, but also the lack of cohesion in this village and the lack of true friendship. So Hassan goes to the capital. When he returns, the villagers decide to tell him that his cow has run, run away. He does not believe this, of course, and he comes to believe that he is in fact the cow, and he descends into the state of despair and fatalism, basically. The entire picture is downhill. The plot doesn't have any happy endings. It's filled with sort of strange, abstract, almost avant-garde atmospheres, and that's where I likened it and some similarities to Franz Kafka's work specifically the trial, as well as the metaf metamorphosis, where in the metamorphosis, Gregor Samsa comes home, or sorry, he wakes up in his bed, and he's turned into this insect. And then, you know, his family members, his work, they fail to acknowledge it, and, and it's really a psychological piece. And similarities to the trial as well, and with the inexplic inexplicable behavior of some of the characters towards the central 
character and that sort of, uh, you know, just senselessness that takes over. It's really sad. Look at this horrifying image from the metamorphosis. So I think there's plenty of interpretations and conclusions that you can come to watching this film. But what I took from it was the loss of identity, the interesting way that community works. Hassan loses his cow and he becomes the cow. But it's also about being human because Hassan's supreme sense of empathy allows him to be so empathetic that he becomes this cow. He becomes, you know, as much as he behaves like an animal, he can eat the straw, he can, you know, get down in the cow stall in the dirt and lay it and do all of these things. He can't become the animal. He's still a human at the end of the day, even though his, his psyche is broken. And sadly, at the end of the film, Hassan does die. He plunges off a cliff to his death because the villagers give up on him. They just don't understand. They're going to take him to the capital to get help, uh, which I'm assuming would be some sort of psychological help. I'm not sure what type of psychological help you'd get back then, but it's really at its core about our humanity and our communities. You could interpret it as critical of the Iranian government of that time, the over-reliance on oil, uh, the over-reliance on certain industries, the grief and poverty of, you know, the poverty stricken. At the end of the day, it's an excellent film. I highly recommend it. Check it out. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.